Hello, this is Rex Kowalski and my beautiful wife, Amanda Lynn, with Surgeon Studios, and this is Sunday Gun Day. Sunday Gun Day. Today we're going to be doing our uh, review on the Glock 19 Gen 4. This is actually my personal carry. Um, very good gun. Personally, I think it's a good gun. Um, of course, we need other opinions outside of a Glock owner. So that's what my wife is here for. It's probably one of the best uh, concealed carry guns out there on the market today. Um, this product here comes with a beautiful Glock box. Glock box. Glock. And uh, it also comes with, here you go, a lock, which I don't use anyways. A Glock lock. This is the <laughs> Glock lock. <laughs> you want that? Alright. I don't use it anyways because, uh, you know, I carry it every day, so... It also comes with different size grips. Here, you want that? You can take that. Now, also in the package, it comes with not one, not two, but three magazines. Uh, they are a total of 15. So this gun will actually hold 15 plus one in the chamber. Um, and the ones that I carry is this one right here, my hollow points. Um, these are the ones I take out to go shooting with. Um, it also comes with, what is this? Loader! The beautiful loader! You love that loader, don't I you? I love the loader. <laughs> on the Glock 19 Gen 4 after going out and shooting it today? Um, so it's light enough that it's not, you know, overly heavy. It's not like wearing your wrist out to hold it. Um, but it's also not so light that it doesn't feel like you have a gun in your hand. Um, I like the trigger on it. It doesn't take a whole lot. You know, you pull the trigger and it's, and it's shooting. Um, it's got really good um, accuracy, I feel like. I didn't have to fiddle too much. Um, because I do have bad eyesight and I, I'm just very comfortable shooting um, the Glock. And I love the way that it fits in my hand. It fits perfectly, perfectly, perfectly in my hand. Um, that's probably my favorite gun for that very reason. It just fits extremely comfortably in your hand. Um, the only downside I would say for maybe a female um, carrying a Glock 19 Gen 4 would be concealing it um, since we tend to wear clothes that are a little bit on the tighter side it is a little bit harder to conceal um, somebody else may have another way around that maybe I just wear my clothes exceptionally tight but um, it's definitely visible um, but as far as the actual gun itself goes love shooting it extremely nice um, experience I could shoot it all day long doesn't have a lot of uh, recoil you know it's not hurting my wrist whenever I'm firing 
you know, going through the rounds one after the other, after the other, after the other. I love it. The grip is so comfortable too. There's really nothing like, you know, it's got some texture to it so it doesn't slide out of your hand, but there's nothing on there so extreme that it's gonna be just like wearing blisters onto your hand throughout. Me personally, already you're gonna know it's a 10 out of 10. But for you, that just went out and shot this for the first time, what is your thought on this one out of 10? So um, one out of 10 as far as Firing the gun itself, um, I give it a 10 for just overall, you know, accuracy and comfortability and everything. Um, and then as far as practicality, at least for somebody who wears tighter fitting clothing, um, I would give it probably a 7 out of 10 because it is a little on the bigger side. Um, you know, in comparison to like a 22 or a smaller, uh, smaller handgun. Um, but as far as performance goes it's fantastic I love everything about it uh, I'm gonna show you the breakdown of the gun uh, the cleaning of the gun and uh, the reassembly of the gun itself so here we go Bye. the way to take this gun right here apart is there's two tabs on the sides here I pull it back just to have it click you hear that first click right when you hear that first click you'll be able to pull both tabs down right here and then push it forward takes your slide off take spring out and then you simply take the barrel out in your Glock case they have a brush for your barrel and a little rod this rod is actually used for two things I'll show you so one you're going to screw the brush on very simple okay once that brush is on take it like this I'll shove it all the way through see how it came out on the other end all right that's it for the barrel now and we'll take our gun oil Put some gun oil on there and you'll feed it through this little hole here. Okay? Once you feed it through the hole, like so, you already know you got gun oil all over it. All right. Now, you simply put the gun oil through the barrel. This helps clean it up, keeps it lubricated, keeps it from rust, etc., etc. All right. Now what I'll do, because there's still some gun oil on here, I will, I will take this and I'll actually go into the slide and just get the top part of the slide here, a little moist, get the sides of it on the inside of the slide. I'll take the same cloth, and rub this thing down really good. Let's get the excess off. Alright. Then I simply slide it back in. Then this spring here, I go ahead and I just put a real small amount of oil. I'll take it, move it up like that. You put the spring in the in the slide just like that. Take this gun oil here. What I'll end up doing is I'll just put a little bit right here on the back of the firing pin. Then what I'll do. You'll take the rest of the gun and see where these springs are on the back here. You'll add just a little bit of oil. Take the slide. You'll slide it back on the grooves there. Just like so. Take it. Bring it all the way back. All right. I'll cycle it a couple times. And what that does is it helps get the oils where they need to be, gets, helps get everything lubricated in your firearm. Thank you guys so much for joining us for our first installment of Sunday Gun Day. Um, don't forget to join us next weekend for our review of uh, my personal carry firearm, which is the Taurus G2C. Um, 
Thank you guys again so much for joining us and please give us a like, drop a comment, subscribe, please. subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. This is Amanda Lynn and Rex with Sturgeon Studios signing out.